This video features the guitar and bass parts that are present during interlude of the song. The interlude starts at 2 minutes and 55 seconds on your counter. The tuning used in this video and on the record is standard E and 440 wavelength calibration. The dominant lead part that carries the interlude of the song is going to be six measures long and tightly follow the six measure long backbone that's being laid down by the rhythm guitar. It's going to start out with the pinky on the G string at the 12th fret. On the very first measure, we're going to play the G major scale backwards. We're going to scale down in pitch and octave, doing so in thirds and using triplet timing. When we get to the second measure, we're going to go to this E note located on the A string at the 7th fret. We're going to pick that down on one and allow it to ring out as a whole note for the entire second measure. With a four count lead in, this is what the first two measures of the pattern are going to sound like. One, two, three, four, one and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, four. I'm not going to explain in detail what I did there because I have another video that's dedicated to doing just that. The name of the video is Playing the Major Scale in Thirds by Mark Tex Wilson. If you're not familiar with that material, please watch that video and then return to this point. The third measure of this pattern is going to be played exactly like the first measure. On the fourth measure, we're not going to go to this E note. Instead, we're going to go to the G5 power chord. It's located where the first finger is on the low E string at the third fret. For one measure, we're going to tightly double the rhythm guitar. We're going to use the same down strokes and palm muting in the same count. One, two, and a three, four, and a. Just like this. One, two, and a three, four, and a. With a four count lead in, this is what the third and fourth measures of this pattern are going to sound like. One, two, three, four, one and a two and a three and a four and a one, two and a three, four and a. The fifth measure of the pattern is going to be a repeat of what we did on the first and third measures. The sixth measure, we're going to go to the B5 power chord located right here where the first finger is on the low E string at the seventh fret. Again, for a measure, we're going to double the rhythm guitar. We're going to pick this down on one and allow it to ring out as a whole note for the entire sixth measure. We're playing it in this position instead of down here because it's easier to get to this from what we're doing. So with a four count lead in, this is what the fifth and sixth measures of the pattern are going to sound like. One, two, three, four, one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, one, two, three, four. Let's play through this entire six measure process one time just to make sure that we're on the same page. With a four count lead in. One, two, three, four. One and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, four. One and a two and a three and a four and a one, two and a three, four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, four. One and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, four. It's a lot faster on the record, and I was trying to slow it down to make it a little easier for you to follow. There's two more things to note there. That process is going to repeat itself one more time before going back into the verses of the song. And the other thing to note is that it's played with the slight palm mute, which I wasn't doing at the time. The harmony guitar part is going to start out lower in pitch than the dominant lead part. The first note is going to be with the first finger on the D string at the ninth fret. We're going to pick that down on one. That'll be followed by the A string on the 12th fret with the pinky. That'll be picked up on the end beat. That'll be followed by the note on the 11th fret of the D string picked down on the U beat. These first three notes are counted one and a and picked down up down like this. One and a. Just like that. One and a. We're going to go from there back to the 12th fret 
of the A string with the pinky. That will be picked up on two, followed by the note on the D string to ninth fret, picked down on the end beat. This is what the first five notes are going to sound like. Goes to picking motion, down, up, down, up, down. From here, we're going to jump up higher in pitch than the dominant lead part. The pinky will be placed on the B string at the 12th fret. This is going to be picked up on the up beat. This is what the first six, six notes are going to sound like. From there, we're going to place the first finger on the B string at the 8th fret. This will be picked down on 3, followed by the middle finger on the G string at the 9th fret. This will be picked up on the end beat. And that will be followed by the 3rd finger on the B string at the 10th fret. That will be picked down on the U beat. These last three notes are counted three and a, and they're picked down, up, down. Three and a. This is what we have so far, the first nine notes. Okay, from this point we're going to go to the B string on the seventh fret with that first finger. This is going to be picked up on four, followed by your middle finger on the 8th fret of the same string, pick down on the and beat. And then we're going to go to the high E string, it's the 7th fret with that first finger, this will be picked up on the up beat. These last three notes are counted 4 and a, and pick up, down, up. Just like this. Four and up. Now what we're going to do there, is we'll do those 12 notes, that one measure. What we did in the last segment is a riff pattern that is exactly one measure long. Just like the rhythm guitar and the dominant lead guitar part, this harmony part is going to be based on a six measure long pattern. The riff pattern that we just did will be played on the first, third, and fifth bars of that pattern. What we're going to do in between is on the second measure of the pattern, we're going to play this note located here on the high E string at the seventh fret. We're going to pick it down on one and let it ring out as a whole note for the entire second measure just like this with a little vibrato. On the 4th measure, we're going to play this note where the middle finger is on the B string at the 8th fret. We're going to do the same thing. Pick it down on 1, let it ring out as a whole note for the entire 4th measure with some vibrato. And on the 6th measure of the pattern, we're going to go back to this note on the high E string at the 7th fret and do the same thing again. This is what the six measure pattern on the harmony guitar is going to sound like, slowed down. One last thing I'd like to point out there is this is in the key of G major. G major only has one sharp which is F sharp. This note right here on the 11th fret of the D string is actually a C sharp. What that is is a passing note. Sometimes they sound good, sometimes they don't. In this case it works. The harmony guitar part enters halfway through the interlude at 3 minutes and 7 seconds on your counter. This is an imperfect harmony. The notes used are random notes from the G major scale, which is why it works. For more information on playing harmonies, see the video on this channel, Using Phrygian Mode to Create Harmonies by Mark Tex Wilson. I hope to eventually shoot another video called Playing Phrygian Mode in Thirds which will show how to add another harmony part, a perfect major third lower in pitch to this song.
The supporting guitar part during the interlude of the song is a pattern that is six measures long and it's going to repeat itself one time. We're going to start out on the open E5 power chord where you're going to bar the A and D strings at the second fret. We're going to pick this down on the one beat and let it ring out for a full measure as a whole note. We're going to repeat this process on the second and third measures of the pattern. With a four count lead in, let's do that much just to make sure you're following. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Don't let that count throw you off. I'm actually counting measures by counting two and three at the beginning instead of one. Okay, on the fourth measure, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the G5 power chord located where the first finger is on the third fret of the low E string. What we're going to play here is a quarter note followed by three triplets, a quarter note, and three triplets. It'll be counted one, two anna, three, four anna. And we're going to pick it all down strokes with the palm mute, just like this. One, two anna, three, four anna. Okay, let's do this entire pattern up to that point, right from the start. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, one, two, and a three, four, and up. Okay, now we're going to go back to the E5 for the fifth measure of the pattern. We're going to pick it down on one, and we're going to let it ring out as a whole note for the entire measure. And on the final measure of this pattern, we're going to go to the B5 power chord. Now notice that your first finger is already barring the A and D strings at the second fret. Don't pick it up. All you got to do is place your third finger on the D string at the fourth fret and your pinky on the G string at the fourth fret. I'm just going to do these last two measures with the four count lead in so you can see what I mean. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Keep in mind when I'm picking that B5 power chord, you see me resting the side of my hand on the low E string to dampen it out so it don't ring. Let's do the entire six measures of this pattern with a four count lead in. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, one, two, and a three, four, and a one, two, three, four, one. Remember, this repeats itself one more time before progressing back to the verse of the song. The bass guitar is going to follow a six measure long pattern that will repeat itself one time during the interlude. The first three measures are going to start out working off of the open E string. We're going to start out the first two measures by playing a quarter note on one and three, which will be picked down. That will be followed by three triplets played on the twos and fours. They're going to start out with an upward picking motion. We're going to alternate pick those triplets. We're going to start them picking up. We'll pick down on the N and pick up on the U beat. With the four count lead in, this is what the first two measures of the pattern are going to sound like. One, two, three, four, one, two and a three, four and a one, two and a three, four and a. That's going to continue into the third measure. When we pick three in the third measure, we're going to take the first finger and place it on the nut. And what we're going to do there is on four, we're not going to pick, we're going to slide all the way up to the twelfth fret on the E string and back down and pitch. We're going to slide octave to octave. This is what that third measure is going to sound like. One, two, three, four, one, two, and a three, four. With a four count lead in, let's do the first three measures. One, two, three, four, one, two, and a three, four, and a one, two, and a three, four, and a one, two, and a three, four. On the fourth measure, we're going to go to the G note located on the E string at the third fret. We're going to use the exact same count and picking technique that we did 
on the first two measures. The only difference is, is that on one and three, we're not going to let that quarter note ring out. We're going to play it as a staccato. Staccato means to play it short and choppy, really abrupt. With the four count lead in, let's play those first four measures. One, two, three, four, one, two and a three, four and a one, two and a three, four and a one, two and a three, four, one, two and a three, four and a. On the fifth measure, we're just going to repeat what we did on the first measure. And then the sixth measure, we're going to close this pattern by going to the B note located on the A string at the second fret where you're going to place your first finger. We're going to play this similar to the way the third measure was played. We're going to pick it down on one as a quarter note. On two and out, we're going to pick up, down, up as triplets. And on three, we're going to pick it down as a quarter note. And on four, we're going to slide from octave to octave. We're not going to pick four. We're going to slide all the way up to the 14th fret and back down. This is what that last measure is going to sound like. One, two, three, four, one, two, and a three, four. With a four count lead in, let's do this entire six measure pattern one time. One, two, three, four, one, two, and a three, four, and a one, two, and a three, four, and a one, two, and a three, four, and a one. Two and a three, four and a one, two and a three, four and a one, two and a three, four. Remember, that's going to repeat itself one more time.